How is going on, folks? What a great day to start another episode on MongoDB with PHP. I'm Hassan, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to uh, configure MongoDB with PHP. Now, I'm going to assume that you got already installed PHP and MongoDB uh, installed on your uh, computer and your workspace, and um, I'm going to show you how to configure those. Um, so first of all, please note that I'm on Ubuntu 16.04, uh, but this should be the same if you're on uh, Ubuntu 14.04 or any other Linux distributions based on the Ubuntu distributions and uh, something like that. So, um, yep. So let's begin. So let's open up a terminal. Uh, a terminal. All right. I hope you guys are able to see what I'm typing here. All right. So first of all, make sure I, I got in PHP installed. So PHP v, dash v, and they're gonna show us that I got installed the PHP seven point eight version, and then kind of make sure that I got our uh, I got the MongoDB also. So MongoD dash v, and um, yeah, some kind of messages up here, but I got the MongoDB three point two one point um, so anyhow, so uh, the first thing that I'm going to need to install is the PHP dev. So I am on the PHP 7. So in my case, the command would be sudo apt-get install php 7.0 7.0 dash dev. And once you once you press the enter button, they're gonna install. Now I'm not gonna do that because I got already installed this uh, package. But uh, you need to do this first of all. Now, uh, n now for compatibility issues, if you're on PHP six, uh, I mean PHP five point six and later versions, uh, then you need to simply trim this seven point zero from here, and then just sudo up here and install PHP dev PHP dash dev. I guess that should work just fine uh, if you're not using PHP 7. And if you're using PHP 7, then the uh, command would be sudo apt get install PHP 7.0 and dash dev. So go ahead and run this command. They can install this package. And then the second thing that you need to do is to install the uh, MongoDB PECL package. And to, in order to do that, go ahead and type in sudo PECL. Uh, install MongoDB MongoDB so go ahead and type this command and press enter they can install that just fine alright so and then we need to make sure that we got the extension enabled in in our PHP INI file so in order to uh, yes, uh, in order to find which PHP INI file is currently being used by your PHP uh, go ahead and type this PHP dash dash ini and they're gonna show a bunch of php ini files but uh, we only need to take a look at this loaded configuration file so this is this guy right up here so i'm gonna go ahead and copy that link and i'm gonna open up using this gedit sudo zedit i mean gedit um so then press enter probably gonna need to give her password i can't credential All right, so uh, now go ahead, Control F, and uh, make sure you got this extensions is equals MongoDB. So if this is not in your document, feel free to add this line anywhere of this document. Make sure this is extensions, and then equals to MongoDB.so. So I got already configured, and the final step is to start the mongodb server so to do that simply type in sudo um, service start mongod m o n g o d um wait a sec um so that should be sudo service mongod and then start all right, so by now, the MongoDB server should mm, running behind the scene. I mean, in the background processes. Um, so in the in the next video, 
uh, uh, maybe in this video right okay so maybe in this video I'm gonna show you uh, uh, how do we install the uh, MongoDB um, uh, MongoDB packages using the composer um, yes yeah, so let's just do this so I'm gonna create a new folder up here uh, let's call it uh, Mongo Yo uh, no Mongo PHP all right let's open this with Visual Studio Code my favorite code editor all right here is that and then uh, I'm gonna create a new file here uh, maybe not so I'll just uh, hit the uh, control and the back tick button of the uh, keyboard that will bring up in uh, command prompt at the bottom of the text editor which is pretty cool so what I'm doing here is just uh, creating a new terminal instance on this path I mean on this path desktop and mongo php directory if you do not going to use this text editor or if you're not willing to use, the, use this terminal go ahead open the open this directory in terminal and they're gonna do exactly the same thing alright so now let's uh, go ahead and install the mongodb package uh, using composer um, so let's go to packages and find out the uh, mongodb package alright so let's uh, we're on the packages uh, uh, just go to packages.org and search for mongodb um, so here we have the mongodb mongodb I mean the uh, maybe this is the official driver library for PHP I guess uh, if I am right or wrong I'm not sure but let's go ahead and do this um, install this simply right paste this in here composer require mongodb and they're gonna install all of its dependencies and in, in its core uh, library uh, so let's go ahead and wait a few seconds all right so the library was installed and now um, all right so now uh, now we are ready to run any kind of mongo query using the php and we can we would see that how to use uh, the basic queries like the CRUD operations uh, we would create new insert new data fetch those data uh, we would use conditions uh, while we fetch those data and we will also see how to edit data and delete data so we would do all of those things in in the next videos so hopefully in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to um, insert the data and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, hope this video helps. And if it helps, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also feel free to thumbs up. And boom.